Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about luxury items that I have bought and then returned and the reasons why. Usually when I buy something online and I receive it and I know instantly it's not going to work out for me, I will just send it back without any fuss or fanfare. You know, I don't talk about it on my channel, I won't post about it on Instagram, I will just send it back. But it has happened quite a few times in the past couple of months where I've received something and it hasn't worked out because of one particular design feature or something like that. So I thought it might be helpful to share, especially if you guys are looking at the same kind of items. The reason why I thought about this video was because today's video was actually going to be a reveal video sharing my new handbag which I have right here which is the Saint Laurent Sunset Bag and I absolutely love the look of this but I've had it a week and in that time I realized that there are a few design features which make it completely unusable for me. So if you are interested in this bag uh, I thought I would go ahead and share my reasons why I can't keep it. Uh, I have five bags in total to talk about I think. I hope you guys enjoy this and you find it useful and I'm gonna get started. So I will talk about the sunset bag first since I have this right here with me. The other ones I don't so obviously I'll just be inserting pictures there but I think this is very very lovely. As soon as I saw it I really loved it. I've been looking at Saint Laurent bags for a while now, different styles. I have the tote which obviously hasn't worked out that well for me but I do still really like a lot of their other styles and I don't like everything in their line. You know I'm not a huge fan of the college bags but I do like the the bag, I like the kind of shoulder bag styles, there is a lot I like from the line and I've actually bought three bags, so three of the bags I'm talking about today are Saint Laurent, so I've clearly had a bit of trouble finding one that's going to work for me and this one is no exception unfortunately. This is just a very simple kind of shoulder bag style, it's very boxy though, so it is very much that kind of almost schoolboy satchel look, but because it has such you know delicate hardware and it's this beautiful pale pink colour in the mock croc leather, I I thought it was really a beautiful choice. It just has a snap closure there and then it's divided into compartments. So you have the two spaces and then you also have a padded pocket right here. And you can technically wear this either just doubled up like so or just with the one chain or cross body as well. So this for me ticked all the boxes. I did think it was going to be a little bit bigger than it is, but I still really love the look of it all the same. My issues with the bag are twofold. Number one, it's incredibly heavy. And for me, this really reminds me of the Chanel Boy Bag. You know, it's a very similar size. It kind of has that same look, but it is considerably heavier than the Chanel Boy Bag. And the actual body of the bag is fairly weighty, but what pushes it over the edge is the chain, which is the heaviest chain I think I've ever come across on a bag so much so that it completely eliminates the possibility of me wearing it crossbody. I have tried and you do have this little leather bit right there but it's very thin and this is also quite hard leather so it doesn't really do much to protect your shoulder and because the chain is so heavy it really does dig in making it very very uncomfortable and it's even uncomfortable just when you wear it on a single strap over the shoulder as well. And I've never really experienced that with any other bag and that was a really big surprise to me and I was handing it to my mum because she commented on what a nice bag it was when she came over and she was like oh wow that's really heavy and I felt exactly the same I was like it is incredibly heavy so that was the first thing that I really wasn't sure about but I liked it enough that I was willing to try and make it work and then I tried to fill the bag with contents and as you can see you know you do have the compartments but you really can't fit a lot in there because of the way it's divided up and I didn't realize quite how bad it was until I tried to fill it with items and I realized I could not get much in there at all so I'm gonna fill it now and show you what I can fit in okay so it's filled up now and it's already very very weighty indeed it's a heavy bag for with items in it's even heavier and I'm just gonna open it up and that's it pretty much full and I can barely fit anything in here. I wanted to put some sunglasses in but it meant that I couldn't close the flap properly and I really had to stretch it which obviously I didn't want to do so I couldn't even fit some sunglasses in there. What I did manage to fit were my phone, my card holder, a pack of tissues, my passport holder, a lipstick, and that's pretty much it. I also managed to fit one small compact in the front. It's a very small pocket on the front because it is padded. I have no idea why they did that, but that's it. So that's really only four items and two cosmetic pieces. 
and that's just not enough for me I really thought it would be able to fit a lot more I know I could fit a lot more in my Chanel boy bags and I was just quite shocked by how little it could hold so that combined with just how heavy and uncomfortable the bag is to wear meant that it was really a no-go for me even though I desperately wanted to try and make it work because I do love the look of it so much this is just completely unusable for me Next up is another Saint Laurent bag, and this is the large quilted shoulder bag. This is something I bought in December just before Christmas, and I was really excited about it. It's very similar to my Chanel Jumbo, so it was a style that I knew worked for me, something I really was always drawn to. You know, I like shoulder bags, I like that kind of chain quilted element, and I just thought this was gorgeous. It was in a beautiful suede, so a little bit different to my Chanel Jumbo. I thought it was just a nice, kind of slightly trendier alternative, but when I received it, I was really, really under underwhelmed. It was very flat to begin with and that could easily be rectified with padding but I quickly realised that unless you stuffed it absolutely full you weren't really going to get that nice puffy look which I really like in my bags. You know the Chanel Jumbo is a very structured and very rounded bag. It has the double flap to make sure that it doesn't cave in or get flatter over time which is why I still think mine looks good after five years. The Saint Laurent though is very very flat indeed so when you actually kind of lay it on a table it looks flat as a pancake and it doesn't really stand upright as a result of that. In addition to that, the sides caved in in a really, really bad way. So much so that I actually just thought it was a flaw with the bag. So I did contact customer service to ask them about it and they said that it was potentially a design flaw but they could send me another one which was better. So we went ahead and did that but the one I received looked just as bad in my opinion. It was really quite, it was very obvious and it was just kind of surprising that they would make a design that had that design feature which for me ruined the look of the bag you know it looked very structured in photos but when you received it it was very flat and the sides caving in really didn't do anything to hold the structure when i compared it to my chanel jumbo there was really no comparison you know i like the fact that it's a very structured bag and in comparison the saint laurent to me just looked a bit flat and sad and just not really something I could get on board with so I ultimately decided to return it because I knew that if it was looking like that when it was new it was only going to get worse with time so I returned it no regret so far still a beautiful bag and if you like kind of softer unstructured bags it may work for you but for me I like bags to really kind of hold their shape and I knew that wasn't going to be it for me. Next up is the Gucci Momo camera bag and I was so excited to see that Gucci had released a whole new line of camera bags. I'm a huge fan of the Gucci Soho Disco as many of you will know it's been my go-to bag now for a couple of years for kind of casual errands and outings and I just love it so I knew I was probably going to get a camera bag from the new line it took me a little while to decide what to get but I ultimately decided on the nude color in the larger size and for me the larger size wasn't even a big decision I thought it was always what I was going to go for just because I like the added functionality of being able to carry a little bit more when I received it it looked great you know I thought it was a really dainty looking bag you know even though it's slightly on the larger side for a small crossbody, I thought it looked really great. However, when I tried it on, it appeared really boxy and I tried it on with so many different outfits because at first I thought it was just what I was wearing at the time, but I tried it on with jackets, with coats, with dresses, jeans, tops, pretty much every outfit combination you can think of. And every single time I was left feeling like it was very boxy. It seemed to kind of stick out from my body in a very uncomfortable way. And I just didn't really like it. And it was really puzzling for me because for me it just didn't even look that different from the Soho Disco but I ultimately decided to return that one and I began looking at the smaller size which I had initially dismissed because I just thought it was way too small but I did decide that was probably going to be better suited to me and I do now have that one here with me and I absolutely love it. It is a little bit smaller than Soho Disco but it can still fit a very decent amount and I love it. So. For some people I think the strap or the chain might be a bit frustrating because the larger size does have an adjustable strap whereas this doesn't but for me this sits at a really good length and height um, so it wasn't an issue and everything else about this I absolutely love so very excited about this the small size was definitely the way to go and um, the large size was just a little bit too boxy for me I guess. 
Next up are two bags and I have returned both of these but I think it's fairly likely that I will repurchase at least one or not both of these at some point in the future. Reason being is that I try and only keep things which I'm 100% sure about and I thought of this rule when I saw the film The Blind Side where the main character says to her would be adopted son that in the store is where you like something the most so if you're not sure about it then you're not going to like it at home and even though this is online shopping I always think that when you first receive something is when you should like it the most so if you have doubts you should just send it back and that's not always true I have had items where they've really grown on me over time but usually speaking if I have doubts about something those doubts only grow and kind of increase over time so I try and only keep things which I'm 100% sure about reasoning that I can always repurchase later on so that's what I did with these two bags but I still do really like them however I will explain why I had my initial doubts. So first up is the Saint Laurent Cape bag and this is with the tassel. I'm a huge fan of this style and obviously I've had a few issues with finding a Saint Laurent bag that works for me but I do think this is a truly lovely bag. They come in a few different um, designs I guess, they have a few different sizes, they also have different leathers, different hardware. I went for the smooth black leather with gold hardware and it is so beautiful. When I received it, which was I think right at the beginning of January, I love the look of it, I thought it looked unbelievably chic, however I was a bit disappointed with how little it could fit. I always knew it was a small bag but you know sometimes you get a small bag and it can really surprise you how much it can fit in. Not so this bag. I have previously owned the Chanel wallet on a chain and that's really not a style that worked for me. Not only was it very small but I also didn't like the chain length. The chain length on the cape bag is a lot better for me. I can wear it very comfortably crossbody but also on the shoulder which is what I love. However, the size is very similar to the Chanel wallet on chain and it's very much a wallet on a chain. So you do have the individual card slots. You really can't fit anything bulky in there like a hairbrush or a bulky key holder or anything like that. So it's very much about paring down your essentials and fitting as little as you can in the bag. I originally wanted it as both an evening bag and as a kind of fancy everyday bag. I know that isn't going to be the case so if I do own one, so I returned it to be on the safe side, but since then I revisited it pretty much on a weekly basis. So I think I am going to end up repurchasing it, but it's going to be with the knowledge that it's pretty much going to be an evening only bag for me. The last bag I'm going to talk about is the Mansa Gavrielle Lady Bag and this is one I actually featured very recently in a video. It was in my best picks of bags under $1,000 and I think this is a beautiful choice and as I mentioned a very strong contender for a repurchase for me. I bought it, I absolutely love the style and the only thing that made me pause was one, it can't fit a laptop, which I prefer my large bags to be able to do. And two, it wasn't as easy access as I would hope it'd be. You know, it doesn't have a button closure, which again, I'd prefer. But also you have to really use the drawstring to get in and out of it, especially because you don't have the button closure. So that's really the only way you're securing the bag. And for me, I worried that it was going to bother me after a certain amount of time. That said, I absolutely love the look of it. And usually when I'm trying to decide whether to keep a bag, I will keep it for a few days. I will try it on with every outfit I'm wearing and I did that with this bag and I loved it with every single outfit so I do really like it I love the look of it when I was wearing on with the shoulder strap with the short handle it's just a beautifully chic bag and I think they're really well made so a repurchase could be on the cards I'm still going to weigh up the pros and cons I'm going to do a bit more research especially on the purse forum to see how other people are getting on with it but I think it's a really really lovely style so that's it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you like this format and you found it useful because I can definitely do these on a semi-regular basis or whenever I have enough to talk about if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one bye guys